Hi guys, in today's video I just wanted to show you how you can set up your DKIM authentication for your domain with your ISP or service internet service provider. I thought I'd just share this because I was, I was struggling to actually get it right but I was able to get it right today. So I thought I'd share this for whoever else wants to do this. So firstly you need to come into your admin console for your Gmail and this is somebody who has a who's paying for a business account with Google um, and you have a Gmail uh, registered domain um, with Google so your email address is done via Gmail so this is how I have it set up so to set up your DKIM from here all you have to do is you can go to apps and you can click on apps and you can go to Gmail in Gmail you'll see over here it says authenticate email and you can click on that so once you're in here all you have to do is you have to click on generate new record and then copy and paste this text record value so we're going to take we're going to copy and paste this into our domain editor on our service providers website and this will basically verify that we are the owner of our domain so if we go to our you whatever you're using godaddy or wherever I'm using Afrihost it's one of our service providers in South Africa so if I go in here and I can log in you can go to hosting click on the domain and I can go to hosting settings and DNS editor so this is where you typically edit or add any text values or anything for your for your domain so if I come in here all I have to do is I just create a new record and I will add that in here for example if I go in here and then you can just go ahead and edit this with the text and you, do, you can enter your record your priority and your TTL I've done it already so I just wanted to show you over here um, the key thing here that I wasn't getting was I, f I wasn't adding this Google underscore domain key and my I left it on the default TTL and I left it on 1441 whereas I should have actually used 3600 and then all you have to do is you just copy and paste um, this TXT record into this uh, into the content field and then you select save and then once you've done that you give it about four to six hours and then you go back into your admin console and you come back here to apps you can select apps again gmail and then you'll come back here and you can go to authenticate again and then from here once you've done that and you've given it about they say 48 hours like the most it can take the most time but usually four to six hours is a good amount of time for that um, to, for, for that to be published the DNA settings and then all you have to do you come in here and then it'll it will have this won't be stop authentication this would, would actually say start authentication and then you click on that and then that's all that's all you have to do and then once that's set up um, your your domain will be set up with DKIM and that's obviously much better for your for your email so that it can actually have some authentication on it and it can work a lot better trusting external uh, incoming mails but yeah if you guys found that helpful please consider subscribing to the channel thank you